Hello everyone, in this video, I'll show you the kind of online learning website that you can build with LearnPress LMS for free and how you're going to build it using LearnPress. So, it's very easy to use with dozens of advanced e-learning features. That's why more than 40,000 e-learning websites, including schools, universities, and education organizations have been using LearnPress as their online learning platforms. First off, let's take a tour of our demo website here. We are using the Education WP team for this, which is completely compatible with LearnPress, and you can use other teams if you want, and the features will still be the same. There's a register and login button right here. So you can let your students sign up to your courses, sign up to your websites, and take your courses. Then we have the course section right here, where you can show up all of your courses or some features courses. You can let people sign up to be a teacher on your website and publish their courses just like in this example, the instructor is Kenny White. So you can have hundreds and hundreds of courses with hundreds and hundreds of lessons and quizzes in the courses with dozens of instructors. There's a feature image for the course with the avatars of the teachers and the name of the course and some other information like how many people have taken it and the price. A course can be either free or paid. Your student can pay for a course using any payment method like bank transfer, PayPal, or offline payment using any payment gateway. Because we can integrate with WooCommerce to make it easier for your students to pay for your courses. You can use it in any country using any currency that you want. So, selling your courses online has never been easier with LearnPress LMS. So let's take a look at what is inside a course. This is a single course landing page where you can write down some description of the course, some information about the course, so your students can check before taking the course. Like here, this is the description, this is a video about the course, the introduction video about the course, and these are some course features. And this is a curriculum where it shows the lessons and the quizzes that the course offer. The lessons with the eye icon right here are previewable for everyone. So you can let students preview some lessons before purchasing the course. Next, you can see the list of instructors of the course with some bios about each instructors and some information like some social media website, the name, the title, anything about him. And finally, students can give reviews and ratings for the course, like in the example here. So for this course, it is free, and you can sell your course individually, or you could also provide weekly, monthly, or yearly pricing plans for some courses. You can offer your courses in individuals or in package. So it's very flexible, and it's all up to you. So let's take a look at the lessons. Go into curriculum and let's take a look at the first lesson. Okay, so this is the lesson template. It looks just like any other awesome online learning platform with the curriculum on the left and the content on the right. In the lesson content, you can put just about anything you want, for example, text or image or videos from any video sharing platforms like YouTube or Vimeo or Wistia. You could also have PowerPoint slides or PDF files or Word documents or HTML interactive lessons added to your lessons. For example, in this lesson, I included a slide say a PowerPoint slides with, with 99 slides in the lessons and below there are some images. Of course, speaking of certificate, there will be certificates for your students when they finish the course. Then, we also have some quizzes right here. You can add as many quizzes as you want. You can add as many quizzes, homework assignment in a course as you want. For this example quiz, you will need to sign up for the course to see the quiz content because it is protected. We can have multiple quizzes, assignments in a course, and the student's course result can be evaluated using their quiz results. You can use any type of quizzes like multiple choices, Fill in the blank, true or full, drag or roll, anything you want. So now let's take a look at the back end of LearnPress. 
Here is the backend of LearnPress, and taking a look at it, you will see the following menus like courses, lessons, quizzes, questions, orders, statistics, add-ons, settings, or tools. So it will be used to manage one specific part in your LMS. For example, you can manage all courses in the courses menu, just like what we are seeing right here. A list of all of the courses with some information. Each course consists of a number of lessons and quizzes. And in each quizzes, there are several questions. So if you want to know who took which courses, you can go to orders. And statistic is a place to see some learn press stats. Add-ons is where you will install more features to learn press. The core of LearnSpread LMS is already powerful enough for an online course website, but if you wanted to like have some extended features, you can definitely go there and find plenty of great e-learning add-ons for LearnPress. And finally, you can edit your LMS settings related to payments, pages, emails, etc. in the settings menu. So let's try to create a course. So you can create a course in the course tab here and click on add new or we could like edit the pre-created course app created right here click on it to edit it so there's another way of creating a course you can hover to the new button right here and click on course to create a new course in this example we are editing a sample course so this is a course editor page with a lot of fields for you to fill in to edit so this is where you will add your course title, course description, and everything related to the course, such as the curriculum and the course setting. In the course settings, there are many settings for the course, like the duration of the course, or the course payment setting, or even defined terms for passing the course. For the course description here, this is where you can write all about your courses, what it is about, who should learn, um, and you can also add anything you want to persuade your student to buy the course. For example, I can add a YouTube video right here. I can add some bullet points. I can add some headings. I can add some slideshows. I can do whatever I want with this. You can use the editor to do many things. Coming next is the curriculum setting you can just add the name of the lesson for example the name of the lesson and click enter and a new lesson is created you could just add the name and then edit the lessons content later using the button edit right here and if you have prepared some lesson before you can click on select items to choose your prepare lessons for example, here we have a lot of prepare, already prepared lesson. Let's choose this and add, and they are already here. Then we we also can create some quizzes. Like click on this button when you try to create new lessons, we will turn into create a new quiz and let's say quiz number two because there is already a quiz here. This icon is for the quiz, and click enter and a new quiz is created right away you can click here to edit it or if you like make any mistakes you could move to trust or remove from the course so that the lesson content will remain in your database then we go to the general course settings there are many things you can edit and set up here like the cost duration as I said before you can use the days or weeks or hours you can also specify the maximum numbers of students who can enroll in this course you could also specify how many times your students can retake the course for example let's say students can retake the course five times if you want to link your course to your current course on Udemy or on any other teaching platforms in the general setting tab right here, you can find the external link and add the link of your courses. And when people click on buy now, they will be redirected to that course. You can see many other ties in these settings. 
like assessment or payment setting when you can specify the price for the costs review logs and auto settings when you can specify other people on your site to be the co-author or to be the author of the course so when everything is done you can write a new excerpt like the short description of the course so that everyone can see it before they click on read more and then you can like choose a cost category you can create a new category just like the same way we create a new post so let's say new cost category and you can also add several tags like cost, learn press, LMS and you can choose a feature image for the cost and normally if you are creating a new course, this update button will be called the publish button but now it is update because we are updating an, an old course so let's click on update so now the course is updated we can view it and for this website I am using a default WordPress team and it still looks very very good with the image here the feature image the uh, cost title and some information about it like the video some bullet points some information some text and the price of the cost and the buy this code button so this is a curriculum where it so all lessons and quizzes and this is the instructor tab there's only one instructor for this course so let's go to the curriculum and check a lesson so this is how it looks like for a default team and it still looks very good there is even a reply comment box below each lessons so now let's edit the content of this lesson you can see this edit lesson button right here so let's click on it you could also go back to the course and click on the edit button on the course so editing a lessons content is similar to adding posts or editing posts you can add question contents with some image uh, or add some text like in this lesson with some images below are some lesson settings like the duration of the lessons like for example here it is 30 minutes and the preview lessons so if you click on this the lesson is previewable to everyone so your, your new visitors can preview the lessons before taking the course so let's click on it and click update so now we have a course we have edited the lessons let's come back to the course and edit a quiz so here's a quiz so we can click on edit item to edit the quiz so in this quiz the contents are already filled out it looks almost similar to the lesson however it's a bit more complicated you will need to add some questions to the quiz because the quiz consists of many questions there are many question types like true or false, multiple choice few in the blind etc so in this example there are already three questions and you can add more if you want so let's type the title of the questions question one so now we can see this question is it true or false type we can change the type of the question here to multiple choice or single choice we can add more type a question if we install some extended add-ons turn it into a multiple choice we can add more options and edit the information I want to change the title of the question to one and one is how many and click this to expand it the first one is two and it's correct the second is three no it's not correct okay two three four and the correct answer is two besides we can see some settings of the questions like the question content this is the title of the question we can add some more like uh, explanation to the question for example mm, take on the correct answer 
of this math formula, math question. Yeah, and the mark for this question. So for every question, you can set the mark. If you set one mark for each question, and there are four questions, and your students will correct all of this, they will get four scores. Below, you can add some question explanation and some question hints. So if your student fails to answer a question, you can show the explanation to your student, and you can show the hint for your student. Below are some general settings for the quiz, like pagination for the question, like turn it into many pages. You can also add the review questions so that your student can review the question after finishing the quiz. You could also use cor so correct answer. So when people are reviewing a question, they can see the correct answer. You can also change the duration of the quiz and you can also use a minor point, which is pretty new, so that if your student fails one question, then, then their scores will be subtracted for like, uh, example, three score, and this is passing grade. And there are many other options, so we could just click on update, and that's it. So now you have master how to use LearnPress and how to create a course, how to add lessons and add quizzes to your course. And I hope that helped you in creating your own online course website using LearnPress Learning Management System. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time in our other video tutorials.